Hey everybody, I'm Dan Herring. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Top Water Tuesday. Today we're going to review the Copper's Live Target Mouse. So the mouse lure, the live target mouse lure is, is one of my favorite top water lures to throw in certain circumstances which we'll get into and describe. Let me talk a little bit about the bait first. The, the nice thing about it is it's got a really good mouse profile. You can see the ears. It's got it's got the little forearms here. It's got these, these a skirt that looks like legs. And maybe most importantly, it's got this tail, which is I think a good attractor. So it's got a really real looking profile to it. They come in a couple different sizes. I like the standard size the best, but there's a smaller size as well. Hopefully you can see that with me in the background. This little guy can be good though under certain circumstances. Highly pressured fish, fish that you may have been catching in a certain area for a while and then you downsize. Very clear water, uh, areas where you see the bait looking this size. All of that comes into play with the smaller one. But more often than not, I like to fish the larger size because it's not that very, it's not a very big uh, profile. It's not a giant uh, lure by any means. It's, it's a perfectly sized bait, the, the standard size, I feel. So a couple of things about the live target uh, mouse. It has a really good mouse profile, which we already went over. The way this sits in the water is somewhat like this. And out of all of the soft bodied frogs and mice that are out there, this one is the easiest, I believe, to walk the dog with. And remember what we mean by that is when you're using your rod to, uh, to impart the action in the bait, you have a little bit of slack in the line, you hit that rod down, the bait goes this way, you hit it down again, it goes this way, and it's working off of that slack, and then you're just reeling up a little bit of that slack each time. And so this bait walks the dog very easily. It goes here, side to side. You can do it almost in place where it hardly moves or you can pull it harder and it'll cover a little more distance. Great, uh, great walk the dog bait. Makes it look maybe like it's an injured mouse and then you can just let it sit. This is another really good bait to just let sit out there. So it'll sit like a profile like this where that tail's hanging down and it, it uh, oftentimes I'll just let it sit, move it just a little bit, a couple movements, let it sit and, and that's when they blow up on it. Now the way the, these hooks are configured on the, on the live target is very good for hooking fish because they're up on top, they're not along the sides. So, and it's a very soft bait, so when a bass bites down on that, it's gonna get the, I just hooked my fingers just doing it, but you can see there's a lot of distance between the bait and the hooks because the hooks are up top. So it's got an excellent hooking procession, uh, excellent hooking percentage. But what you give up with that is that because those hooks are riding on the top like that, it doesn't come through cover as well as hooks that were riding along the side. So it doesn't come through real, real thick cover as well as some other baits. If you're throwing this into real thick milfoil or thick hydrilla or very, very thick pads, it will not come through as well as some of the other baits that we talk about in, in some of these Topwater Tuesday reviews. Like that Tekel honker frog, for example, that comes through stuff very, very well. But that's okay because I don't, you know, when I find out what the bait's strengths are, I use those strengths and fish it that way. So how do I fish this bait? I like to fish this along weed edges. I like to fish it in sparse weeds, the weeds that are, that are not too thick. It'll come through those just fine. And so that's a great way to fish this mouse. And it catches a lot of fish. It also catches fish in open water, just out in open water, especially on those shallow water Pocono lakes. I'll just throw it out in the open and just swim it along and let it sit out there like it's struggling. And I catch a lot of fish just doing that. I like to fish it in wood cover where there's stumps in the water, you know, stumps sticking out of the water or, or, or even standing timber. I'll fish it around that. 
and then more importantly fallen timber right where you have timber that's fallen in from the bank because these little critters will walk out on that and you know they can fall off and all of a sudden uh, the, the bass have a mouse meal just sitting there and so this is a real natural presentation and it comes through that kind of stuff real well so you can throw this around fallen trees and work it along a fallen tree maybe the main stem of a fallen tree for example the main trunk I should say of that fallen tree anyway it's a it's a great application for that style of fishing are a great great way to fish for that application so that's it for this top water tuesday the live target the coppers live target mouse it's a very good bait i catch a lot of fish on this thing and it's a fun bait to fish well i hope you liked the video if you did again give me that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already please do so that helps me get this thing out in front of more people Looking forward to doing more videos for you very soon. We should be getting out on the water more and more now that the uh, temperatures are starting to go up. So we'll have more videos where we're actually out on the water and then doing some fishing and discussing what we're doing on the water as well. Looking forward to bringing that to you. But we're going to continue with the Top Water Tuesday series because I've got more to go through. I've got a ton of other really good top water options for you to, to get into. I love top water fishing. I've been doing it since I've been five years old. And so we've got this thing, we'll just continue to do it. And eventually we'll run out and when we do, we'll stop the series. And I know the last, I already know what bait it'll be, the last bait that I do, but we're not there yet. We have some more that we wanna cover. We have some more frog baits, some more mouse baits, some hard baits as well that we haven't covered yet. Looking forward to doing that. Keep it tuned here. Hope to see you on the water. And as always, may God bless your fishing endeavors.